here's some basic motion capture I just recorded. And I'm going to use the pose editor here to try to make the kicks a little bit more animated. So first thing I want to do, I kind of scale up a bit so that I have more room to work. And I can also manipulate things more easily. And let's see, so I'm going to stop the animation. There's a couple of options here. So this is like the controller speed, the rate at which it blends. So I want that turned up a bit. Grab offset. The targets just move relative to the controller. If you turn the grab offset off, it just moves to the controller. The rotation offset, no matter how the hand is rotated, the feet will always be rotated the same way. If turned off, then it always rotates to whatever the last setting was. So by using this, we can actually align the foot how we want it for the kick. My hand is probably going to be like this when I pull the trigger. Turn this back on for a second. And then I'll rotate my hand. It's kind of where it will be at the end. Turn this back off. It stores the offset. It's always returning to the set point. Now, let's see that with the animation. So, so you can see here, I can make them kick higher. Now I'm going to do the editing. When you press Q, when it loops around, it starts to record. What I want to do is actually, I want to record at a slower speed. So I'll turn the speed down a bit. Now I can see everything happening and probably get a more accurate kick. Press the Q button, get ready. As soon as the playhead wraps around, now it's recording. Okay, that was the first three kicks. Punch, punch, and then the last kick. All right, now we'll just let that play, and that's it. So it just recorded the editing. Now I'll play it back at normal speed. You can see he's a little bit more animated. I like those first three kicks. They look great. Then all you have to do is click on export and export it as a scene. Then you can import it into Blender. Bye. <laughs>